I'm telling you. It's I wonder what Elijah would do if John Doyle became a leftist. Jo that would Elijah be interesting. Is like a step away too. Elijah will be anything that will give him the most money. I'm sorry. I know you don't. Like I don't think that that's true. I don't. I, think so. I don't know why I feel the need to defend Elijah's honor. I just do. I haven't even watched you his content in like him. a year. You guys have an Aries connection. It's two of you guys are Aries. You ought to look out for each other. I get it. But I will say what I have to say. That's so. fine. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. And I you don't for hate it. it. I you can it. never come on my channel again, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna always have to prep or you know say I do not hate Elijah. I am disappointed in him. I think he's doing the wrong things. I think he's wrong, just like I think Carlin's wrong a lot. Oh so. wait, 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 wait. We've got drama in the chat. We got drama in the chat. Oh, Kimberly says, "I just now heard Mike Harlow. I believe Ooh. him about you unsubscribing." <laughs> Ooh. Does anyone have have words they would like to say to Kimberly as she as she departs <laughs> my channel? I'm just saying, Alex, what do you think about Mike Carlo? Oh gosh, um, lazy, lazy. Yes, very lazy. Hostile. Never shows up to time on anything. Ever. Yeah, I think, I think he's very hostile mm -hmm. and lazy, and I think that he's. He has got all the, the stereotypes of being gay, um, but not the good ones. So has he been posting about me on Twitter? Well, you know what I did? I took a screenshot of those comments that were posted on your channel earlier I and I posted them I on Twitter. Feeling. Hashtag walk away. I think he <laughs> might have um he might have commented he, on the video. Did he tweet about me? I saw Wait, him he commented on your video. He he might have, really? I don't know because I'm not I'm not checking it because I'm on here. <laughs> But, we have to check. I mean, this is like this is just like good tea right here. Hang on, I need to knit this. I need to get this stitch marker in place. Let me see. I mean, has Kimberly ever showed up in my chat for anything? Like, I don't remember ever seeing Kimberly, and I think I would remember too because she looks kind of like an old friend of mine that was a leftist. So it makes sense why she likes my Carlo because you know, birds of a feather flock um, together. Okay, hang on. Maybe not. I don't know. All right. Oh. I'll try to look at it. We can All right. It, gonna We're going to do some investigating while we continue to listen to John Doyle react to whatever he's reacting to. Okay. Bear with us. Amphetamine and heroin are compelling is that they hijack the precise mechanisms in our brain that are designed for sex. So while it's true that there are other pleasures that activate the reward center of our brain, the fact is that the nerve cells don't overlap nearly as closely as they do with sex, which is why non-sexual natural rewards feel different and less compelling. So sex is the most compelling given the hardware of our brain. <laughs> he definitely tweeted compelling. about me. He didn't say my name. He definitely tweeted about me. And oh, oh, the queen. Uh, right in there of course he did of course he did i kieran i thought you had gotten over me i thought you were off twitter apparently i'm never escaping this he says he said three hours ago says there is no way of shaking this lunatic's obsession for me or carrie even if i allowed her to defame me and stayed 100 silent it wouldn't matter everyone on the internet who mocks her criticizes her is carrie smith or mike carlos horde no mikey they're they're your horde because you are literally their leader and you're connected to all of them okay, that's why so i think what happened is the comment i think may have been deleted by the person so i do see that my carlo did reply to it but i don't know what he wrote oh no oh lame 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 Sorry. lame but i'll take the screenshots so you i can prove that he commented but i don't know what he said so and the comment's gone now so he probably just said oh this is wrong and da 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 and maybe he convinced the person i don't know or maybe not i don't know Maybe the well, person the person just didn't want to be involved or whatever, so they just deleted it. I mean, that may be. And and if that person was offended that I posted a screenshot of their comments, I apologize if I caused any grief. But kind of feels good to see comments saying Mike Carlos behaving like a fucking raging lunatic on Twitter. I'm just saying. All right, let's get back to it. Alex is like, I got no time for this shit. <sighs> He's as basic as they come. I'm sorry. I just have to say that. He's very, very basic bitch. So. Yes. yes. All right.
because they hijack that hardware and overload it basically. And so sexual arousal and orgasm induce higher levels of dopamine and opioids than any other natural reward. But there are other components below our conscious awareness that play a role as well. For example, uh, there's a protein that accumulates through sex and drug use called delta Phos B, and it activates genes involved with addiction, and the molecular changes that it generates are nearly identical for both sexual conditioning and chronic use of drugs. So regardless of what you're abusing, high level- <gasps> Chrissy fucking Mayor commented on his tweet. Who's that? That that comedy woman who I don't think is very smart or very funny, but other people do. Wow. Wow. People I mean, are saying you're my her. husband, Alex. What? People are saying you're my husband. I am? Apparently, there's been lots of shenanigans going on on Twitter since we've been streaming. Yes. How am I her husband? I what? don't know. I'm I literally on camera. <laughs> and I'm know. very obviously gay. So very no. obviously gay. <laughs> I don't understand that. And Victor has been on camera, too. That makes zero sense. So that is insane. They make things up and spin tails in their heads. It's yeah, crazy. Oh, God, I'm so disappointed Kieran is commenting on this. I really thought he had moved on with his life, man. I really, really thought. <laughs> not going to. He's never going to move on and find a fucking real girlfriend. <laughs> oh, man. All right. All right. I'm focusing. Promise. Focus. Focus. <laughs> Focus. Focus. Levels of delta phosphate accumulate and rewire the brain. Because he's talking to pursue about science, that thing, and I'm bored. Which is how addictive I'm drugs bored. co-opt the learning mechanisms I had to learn um, all in our brain that are designed to make us pursue sexual activity. And by the way, this is related to why, if you look interesting, basically the neurochemical events that create sensitization are caused by spikes of dopamine. But the actual thing in your brain that he's not actually trying to teach anyone anything. He's just trying yeah. to overwhelm people with information to make him seem like he's smarter than he actually is. That's what's I going on here. Just so we're clear. Yes, and I also think too that um, he's doing the woke leftist training thing, where he's yeah. starting to use weaponized boredom. So you're. <laughs> I feel so like I think, my eyes are like glazing over. I'm like yeah. uh... weaponized boredom, and he does talk too fast. I agree, not. But I'm just uh, I'm kind of sad that the comment was deleted. I wanted to see what Mikey said. <laughs> I'm sad too. I want to know. Oh, no. I wanted to know. Savrit says memes reprogram the thought avenues when presented with imagery. All data consumed is the information that our perceptions are formed. Yes, that is exactly correct. And we form our perceptions based on the data we consume. That's why there's a horde on Twitter who all <laughs> think that everyone hates me because they only talk to each other because that's the only data they're actually consuming. And they block every single one of my supporters who even dare to tag them in a tweet. Even if those supporters are quoting the Bible. Your brain ends up being literally rewired to exponentially crave whatever you've been binging on. So that's where you get into a spiral where you want something, you do it, you create <laughs> lots of shit. dopamine, cause the delta hang on, to accumulate. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, yeah. hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I gotta show you this. I'm sorry. Oh, I gotta show God. you what is at the very top of Mike Harlow's Twitter feed right now. I have to show you this. this oh is God. It's insane. Is insane. Oh, God. Look at this. Look at this. Everything about Carla Borsenko is a fraud. She regularly shares reviews and tweets from someone named J.M. Truffolo. Turns out this person charges 50 bucks to write glowing reviews and supportive tweets of wannabe influencers. I don't even know who this person is. I just know that she's a Christian on Twitter who liked my book. I have not paid anyone to write what? any reviews. If I have paid anyone to write a review for my book, will you please announce yourself now? <laughs> My God. Um, I think maybe you paid sin. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Don't spread any rumors. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with him? Like this is this is my Carlo being jealous because he is completely incapable of ever writing a book about anything ever. My Carlo is jealous because I'm just kidding, Sin. <laughs> um my Carlo is just jealous because Oh, he's this is a whole fucking thread. Holy shit. Like, this is actually more interesting what? than the John Boyle, but he wrote a thread. The tell is the language where she parrots Carlin's book copy. How does he know what my book copy is? Mike Carlo, how do you know what my book copy is? Parrots Carlin. Actionable strategies. Complaining. Fighting back are all Carlin marketing buzzwords. So she saw my tweets. 
Oh my God. God. Carlin also appears to have enlisted the services what to attack her. I pay, he's saying that I paid someone to attack Carrie. He's Mike Carlo is actively smearing this person right now. Like she could actually sue him for this. <laughs> you will fuck? notice once again, she parrots Carlin's talking points, verbatim online bullying. I've done so much for you. All her buzzwords. It's like <laughs> he's literally making this shit up. What is wrong with him legitimately? What she the heck allegedly is this? has over 10,000 followers, yet her tweets get an average of two to three likes. You know why? Because she, how she got her following is probably from following a lot of people. I similarly been. wondered how Carlin allegedly has 80,000 followers, yet typically gets Twitter engagements in the signal digits. Makes you wonder because I am shadow banned to high fucking heaven. That's why. What the hell? What is wrong with this man? Moral of the story, when you look deeper into people who exist to create hate and division among what? conservatives, you will often find how astroturf... He's actually accusing me of being astro of astroturfing right now. Okay. The only ones that I see creating hate and division amongst conservatives are people like him and Carrie. Like, that created this issue with you for no reason. You're not even a conservative anyway. So what is it to them? And I the have literally is, never been a conservative. They're like just so upset that any conservatives support you. That's so stupid. Conservatives have a right to their own mind, their own opinion, Mikey. And oh, Carrie. and Carrie. Oh, there's Carrie swooping oh, in God. like like magic. Like magic. Carrie, the devout Christian who will not have a healing conversation. This is one of the sycophants didn't realize this one was paid though because she's not paid carrie i don't even know who she is who followed her orders to harass me and my pastor and then also gloated when i quietly locked her you guys doxed my spiritual advisor <laughs> you fucking doxed my God. spiritual advisor what the hell what is wrong with him <laughs> oh my god these people are insane Sam says John's brain is not prepared is not prepared others however yes let me see we got some other super chats in Savrit says it is very clever to build a nuclear bomb but it is not wise to do so those are wise words Savrits there are differences between cleverness and wisdom dude I'm out of greenery well you got to get on that job don't you Savrits let's see Incognito says just ask Chrissy to show Carrie your video <laughs> Oh, I'm sure that's going to go over well. And uh, Brian says, mm -hmm. archive to help her out when she he deletes the tweets. Yeah, I should probably take pictures of those tweets because yeah. she, he's like literally accusing some... I, I don't even know who this woman is. Well, the thing too is like, I don't understand... They're literally lying right now. Like the fact that... Okay, this is going to sound really shady, but I'm just going to be honest. Jesus so Christ. I'm going to screenshot all this. According... You know, my woman. supposedly has this certain level of subscribers and clout and whatever. Like, why the fuck would he go to my channel, to one of my videos? I have less than 400 subscribers. I got, you know, 100 views or so on that video. He would literally make the effort to go there just to convince that one person. Like, that is so unhinged. Mm -hmm. Mikey, you're going to get hate comments from a lot of people. You know, it is what it is. I get hate comments. I don't care if somebody is like, oh, you're a fat, disgusting, whatever. I don't really care. I don't, I don't engage with it because it's like, whatever. Like I got a lot of hate for hating on John Doyle. You know, people are like cringe. Oh my gosh, this person's like Reddit. Wow. You know, you're proving all his points, right? You know, like I got all this stuff and it's like, I don't have to respond to every single comment and be like, that's not true. Da, 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 da. It's like, dude, if you're going to be a public... What is he saying about Joshua? Oh, God. Oh, this is just on that thread. Sorry. Go oh. ahead. Sorry. Go ahead. Like, If you're going to be a public person, you're going to be criticized. And the thing is, like, there's a lot of reasons to criticize you, Mike. You are lazy. You don't do anything. Very lazy. You don't do anything. So I don't know what the hell this is. You want to just be a clout whore or whatever, go on OF or something. Maybe somebody would be interested. Go do something vapid, like a makeup channel or something. Not that that's bad, but I'm just saying like, do something more shallow 
if you just want to be famous. There are other ways and much easier ways, might I add, <laughs> than using political discussion. It's I mean, not it's it's like the whole one of the whole points I've made in the last week is that Mike Harlow and Carrie Smith and their horde get off on bullying anyone who supports me. And this woman wrote a review. And for the record, I didn't pay anyone for any reviews. I would have a fuck ton more reviews right now on my book on Amazon if I was paying anyone for shit. And I haven't paid anyone. And he's attacking someone because she wrote a positive review of my book. That's unhinged behavior. It, yes. wouldn't, it wouldn't even occur. And, and this means that not only did he go to the website to read the review, he also searched around looking for any dirt that he could possibly have on Amazing. this that he could possibly find to try to twist in the worst possible way. You know, he is very hostile, very hostile. He is hostile and lazy. I don't know how he combined those two things, but he did it. It's just crazy to me. It's like, dude, you need to calm down. Like, take a chill pill, you know? Just go work on yourself. Nobody needs this. Nobody needs this. I mean, it's not even unbelievable. It's completely believable based on the fact that they literally harassed and then blocked every single person in the last week who has tweeted at them or tagged them. Carrie even blocked someone. One of my supporters literally quoted the Bible to Carrie to try to convince her to, to engage in the conversation with Joshua and I and her pastor. She mm -hmm. quoted, uh, she quoted the passage basically about like living in like forgiveness or something. Carrie blocked her for it. For quoting the Bible to her. That's pretty weird. I mean, it's like, dude, you're not a Christian. I'm sorry. Carrie Smith is not a Christian. Carrie Smith's pastor is questionable at best. And I and I only put questionable in there because maybe he's trying to convince Carrie to act like a Christian behind the scenes. And I just don't know about it. But Carrie Smith is not a Christian. I'm saying it right now. now. Yeah, she's, she's in not violation. a Christian. But I, I would say, you know, she's not following the Bible. The Bible is very, very clear. It has many verses about forgiveness. And again, like you're supposed to be talking to people that are not Christian. How is it supposed to be spread otherwise? Right. I mean, it makes sense just from an ideological standpoint. So she should be talking to you. There's no, uh, as long as it's a good faith discussion and even with it being a public discussion, she could be making points to the crowd you know, to the people watching, it might not even be about you in particular, but this whole thing of not responding to this or whatever, like she could have even just said, like, I'm not interested in it, or I don't think I'm at a good place right now to do that or something, but that would require honesty. And, you know, it, it's bad. She's pretty bad. I don't understand why these people are like this. I just don't. It's because like, are they're you desperate to be famous they're desperate to be famous no, like, that's all it is that's such to be famous there are easier ways to be famous well, i guess there that's true your ways i don't know then I, I i really i have no idea i have no idea why and and this is like i actually legitimately would like to have a conversation with carrie to understand why exactly she hates me to the level that she does i don't understand I, it it's an absolute obsession i don't get it either and this whole thing with Mike, where he's posting these, this whole stuff. It's like, I don't even understand how he has the time to do that. You know, I, I, I love your content. I love your channel, Carlin, but I don't have the time to do that. Yeah. I just don't. And these people are more dedicated than your diehard fans or, you know, your most ardent, um, local supporters, you know, it's just crazy. I it's was feeling so I was feeling so optimistic earlier. I was like, they finally shut the fuck up about me. This is fucking great. Maybe we can all just move on with our lives. And no, no, they have not shut up about me. No. They're not going to because I guess he was triggered because you made that tweet or whatever. But well, it is I did probably hard. cause it to be honest. Like I'll yeah. take I will unlike John Doyle with his obvious <laughs> porn addiction, I will I will absolutely take ownership over the fact that I tweeted that to illustrate that. Mike Harlow is driving financial supporters 
of Walkaway away from financially supporting Walkaway. He has attacked several people in the last week that were financially supporting Brandon and Walkaway right. who have now discontinued their donations because I wonder why. When you're the figurehead, well, Mikey wishes he was the figurehead of Walkaway, but he's he's close enough. I mean, I believe that he, he's, he's, he's doing, he, he basically is in control of Brandon. So right. like, like, uh, you know, yeah. it's like, what do you expect? When that's the thing too, like, Mikey, if you're this influencer and you want to be famous and all this bullshit, why the fuck did you have time to instantly go to my video and find this comment? Not that it was hard because I don't have a lot of comments, but why would you literally go in there and try to convince this one person? Like you should not have the time to do that. I wouldn't have the time to do that. I, I don't even reply to all my comments because I don't have the time to, and I don't even get a lot because I'm working. Mm -hmm. I'm always working. I do stuff. I'm working to make money. I'm working to, you know, do my YouTube. I'm doing, you know, I'm on Sassy Saturday. Like I'm doing something every day. I'm not just sitting down and twiddling my thumbs every single day. Like he is apparently he should be busy. He should have a job. He should be doing something. He should be working on something, writing a book. He should be filming for his YouTube channel and editing. He should be, there are like hundreds of things that he could be doing instead of this Twitter bullshit. And this is why you're not successful. Just yeah. so you know, Mike, and don't be jealous because Carlin works extremely hard every day and she has the benefit of that. You know, I I work hard too. And I guarantee you, I probably work way harder than him. And there will be a point where I overtake him if I keep going. Mm -hmm. Because yeah, yeah. that's what it takes. And you have to have the temperament. He doesn't. If you can't handle any criticism, Mike, you are not cut out for this. Do something else. You want to just go be someone's houseboy or whatever because you want to be lazy? Go find a rich man then. And just shut the fuck up because the rest of us are trying to get shit done. You know what I just noticed? So he's dragging this woman for writing a review of my book, which, again, to be crystal clear, I didn't pay her for. Um, because, I mean, even like, but, but like, look at her specialties for on her own website that he trolled. I didn't even look this closely at her website. Beauty, health and beauty, electronics and apps, clothing and apparel, entertainment and green living. None of those have anything to do with my book. If I was going to actually hire people to write reviews right. of my book, and like no offense to this lady because she wrote a nice review on my book. Right. Her review wasn't like an in-depth review. It wasn't at all. So if I was actually going to pay someone to write a review of my book, it would be a much more in-depth review than whatever than, than what she wrote. I'm sorry. Like I appreciate that she wrote it. Like it was very nah, nice, I but like... I mean, I, I'm not in her specialty area for what, and, and quite frankly, it's like anyone who puts a review of that type of book on their website, they're kind of asking for it. And so, I mean, I have to thank her for the review because especially yeah. if she's doing paid reviews for, for other things, it's like, she kind of just put a target on her back there, to be honest. Well, and the thing is, I'm sure she's so honest in her reviews, you know what I mean? And if that's a way for her to make money, it's more work than what Mike's doing. I mean, I can give her that. And I don't have any shade against her, but it sounds like she cared about the political cause and she cared about it and she wanted to do it for free. Oh That's my right. God. So of course, after he tweeted, they started attacking her in the replies. Look at this. Look at this. So this is the review of, of the book that she wrote. How much were you paid for this again? I'm just thanking her. Strategies like what? There's a whole book about it. It's so good and intriguing that you almost want to pay people to review it. Well done. Fraud's going to fraud. Judas got paid in silver. You got paid in Venmo. How much, how much did she pay you for this? So that's oh really nice, gosh. Mikey. That's really nice to send people into this random person's Twitter feed because you're pissed off that someone left a comment on Alex's video saying he liked me that said, I can't support Walkaway anymore right. because Mike Harlow is acting like a goddamn lunatic on Twitter. That's what happened. Alex posted a video saying he liked me. A person commented on that video saying, 
I agree with you. And Mike Harlow is acting like a lunatic on Twitter. And I can't separate that from walk away. I then took a screenshot of that comment, posted it on Twitter. And now you're attacking random people who happen to write a review of my book and sending your fucking horde to attack random people on Twitter because you're so pissed off that anyone likes me and likes my content. That is un-effing hinged. It is obsessive. It's not anything magic, Mikey. It's not always about manipulation tactics and all this bullshit that you're projecting onto Carlin because that's you. That's what you do. That's not what other people do, Mike. Other people actually do the work and get shit done because they're not too busy obsessing about people they hate on Twitter and creating whole ass hate campaigns about it. Who the hell has time for that? Honestly, are you a 16 year old in your bedroom with your parents taking care of everything? Because who the hell else would have time for that? Especially in this economy. You got to be shitting me, dude. You are crazy. Unhinged. Fucking crazy. Fucking crazy. All of them. All right. Should we go back to John Doyle now? Sure. <laughs> Good little intermission. <laughs> that, that was a nice little break. You know, we were, we're getting a little bit bored. Things were getting a little down and now we're going to go back. Okay. Okay. Get it out of our system. Relax for a second. And this molecule is actually produced. A lot okay. Can I just tell you, cause I'm looking around this woman's website. I can't actually find the page that he found where she say, where she's saying that she charges for reviews. So he really? was really, he was really digging. I cannot find it. How I can't find it. I don't know. I don't understand this at all. That is insane. You need I to get a job. I don't see this on Mike. her website. Get a fucking job, Mike. Get a life. Honestly, this is insane. Gosh. What is he even looking at? Oh. He. <gasps> Alex. He what? went on a completely different website. Look at this. Look at this. This is how obsessed what? he is. He found this on a completely different website. So, okay. So I'm going to put this woman's website in. Um, hey, let me just get this. I'll get this. Rah, whatever. They're probably going to. Whatever. So this is. So if I follow this woman's book review, she wrote this on mustardseedsentinel.com. I have no idea what that is. And so she's got this online magazine where she writes reviews and she writes about things she likes and, mm -hmm. you know, whatever. Um, and, and so that's what we're looking at now. There's nothing on this website that says anything about paid submissions at all. Do you know what he did? He went and found, he went on this, this website in Telefluence, which I have no idea what it is, but it is a completely different site. And this is where he found this incriminating information saying that she will write reviews. So he's actually, he's gone out of his way to go on a completely different website to stalk this woman and look her up and found that she maybe does paid reviews. That's insane. That's insane effing behavior. That he would, how much time did he spend researching this woman so that he could try to attack her for liking my book? People are allowed to like Carlin, Mike. They're allowed to. You might be even more shocked, but people are allowed to not like you. People are allowed not to like you, Mike. Just like you're allowed to not like Carlin. Nobody cares. Okay, we get it. You don't like her. Join the club. There's plenty of people that don't, but there are a lot of people that do. Deal with it. And and you know what most of those people who don't like me don't do? They don't stalk anyone no. who posts anything positive about me on Twitter to like hunt them down on various influencer websites. And how the fuck does he even know about this website? Because I don't know about this website. I have no idea what this website is. If you don't like her, don't watch. People are going to have hate comments. People are going to say things. If you can't handle it, then get off. Get off the internet. It is so Stop. unhinged and so ridiculous. How much time did he spend stalking this woman tonight? These people are My not cut out God. for it. They're not cut out for it, Carlin. If you cannot handle criticism, you cannot be online. It is, you will die on this. I mean, criticism and the internet, they go hand in hand. It's, it's so like, crazy. 
Sam says they yeah. gaslight saying they don't have a horde. I mean, they go back and forth on that. Sometimes they say they're a horde. Sometimes they say they're not a horde. This is actually scary. This is, oh, I it's can't obsessive. even. It's obsessive. It's crazy. It's obsessive, obsessive and unhinged and unhealthy. My God. That's so nuts. All right. Let's go back. We're going to be responsible. We're going to watch this video. But that's nuts. That is knucking futz is what that is. <laughs> Back to Bill and I. <laughs> levels of dopamine. And this is done because at the end of the day, your body's just trying to help you out a little bit, trying to keep you under control, trying to tell you a couple thousand years ago that it's time to leave the blueberry bush, go check on the kids, whatever it may be. But that was long before the utter catastrophe. I'm going to clip this out. And I'm going to post it as a clip on my channel saying Mike Harlow is an unhinged lunatic. Yeah. That's what's going to happen. Unhinged. Unhinged behavior. Now, you're, now he's going to get actual videos about him so i hope it was worth it mike i hope it was and i just may be vlogging about you later today i mean unbelievable you do this type of shit you piss people off and there's no need for this you don't need to do this you don't just work on your stuff nobody's telling you to go anywhere but if you cannot handle this then get out of it and, and Mikey, I'm going to tell you this because you have threatened to sue me for defamation. And then I think you went and talked to a lawyer and found out that no one is going to take your case. And so you never did. But I could actually sue you for defamation because I can prove that your bullshit and nonsense has caused actual direct monetary damages to my business on more than one occasion. So if you want to keep this bullshit up, I will lawyer up and we'll see who wins that defamation lawsuit. And if you want to try to challenge me, you can you can try to prove when I have ever caused monetary damage to your business, which is one of the requirements to actually have a successful defamation lawsuit. You won't be able to do it because you don't fucking have a job. Right. You don't have a job. And guess what? Brandon chose you. I'm yeah. the one that suffered damages here. You did not. Pretty much dead on mm -hmm. has been established for us in the form of mass produced mass marketed just to put a really fine point on this that influencer website is nowhere on her website where she posted that review so he really did go out of his fucking way unbelievable yeah. quote maintain arousal <gasps> with my partner i know i know how he found it i know he found it. he googled her it is oh, okay. it, when when someone Google's her, it comes up as the fourth the fourth link. Okay, that's how he found it. So again, to put a really fine point on this to everyone, and I will clip all this together later. Mike Carlo was so incensed that someone wrote a positive <laughs> review about my book that he stalked a woman by Googling her and then accused her of doing it for pay when she did not because she happens to be on a separate website where people can pay for reviews. My God, idiots, idiots. The problem there, 